all gone. Yeah, wait until you go to zero. Come repent. Come tell the people of Jamaica, sorry for your utterance for Angela Yeshua. And start work back with your local producer them and your local people them and get back some credibility. You are the hungry Jamaican artist with the different city splash with them say flap like dog. Me, I know your enemy. Link me man, me will advise you now. Me you can reason you now. But you have to repent. Don't make ego make you suffer. Because you're not happy. You're not going good, you're not happy. You have been a complete failure from your sign and everything. It's not by accident. And nobody will fight you. And no obia. And no corruption. And no foot of hype do it. And no other female artist that you think I like you do it. And God I do it. Stop. Go on like you're wrong and strong. Sometimes as, as people have come off of the high mountain they were with them. And get back to reality and realize, you know what I'm saying? I mess up. Let me see I put out video about we are Jamaicans and sometimes Jamaican people feel you, know, you never remember that when you did the for Angela issue. You never remember. If you always remember you now, sometimes you remember that you are Jamaican. Uh, all the time. Because when you did it and them ask you about the bottom argument, you should have just said, I don't want to talk about that in the next question. You jump up and endorse it and promote it. You are going to get punished, I tell you, you know. Everyone a own a female. We do the gear show them. We utter gayness. We promote that. We not go suffer. And we no are suffering. We do not pretend to the public like everything is okay. Me know everything is okay. And it's obvious to the people that say everything is not okay. So all me I say to your shenzi. Don't act like you're bigger than God. Don't act like you're bigger than the culture and the ancestors. You understand me? I say, link up, man. Not free if you turn on your, your phone and you just go so and turn on your life and tell people, say, you are sorry for the utterance where you utter from the Angela you show. You damage the culture and you disgrace the ancestors of Jamaica by saying that. Because even if it, it's not a part of our culture, it's not something you should have promote, it's not something you should have endorsed. And just take the veil off of your eye. Make the ancestor them see so you can take accountability for your wrong. But you there play tough and have forced the issue. And it's not working. It's not working. More the problem you have. I don't want to talk some of your business. Work at labor problem, some problem, money problem, last week problem, other problem. It's not by accident. You have to come apologize to He's being held by the police, right? Now, when we went, Johnny Bravo them went to the station. I wouldn't say what station I went to or where they went. They found out, they was confirmed. Yes, he's being detained by the police. We saw that there is a warrant document that was out. Somehow, Christmas, this was on the news. And then by the morning, as he reached back or wherever, 7 o'clock this morning, the police detained him, right? The police came by him. And the warrant paper says that they want to get his cameras, um, his phone, his devices, his laptops, his chargers. So, what we do know is that for whatever reason, they're trying to implicate um, Christmas or like the police don't want to do their own work. They want to take a tourist or a journalist devices to be able to confiscate their things and put the journalists under all this stress, right? All this stress right it's unfair to mr christmas after everything what he've done for Chira and tobago you understand this is not what Chira is about right we need to free christmas so right now we have two lawyers right we have miss um anita smith and cj williams big up we have two lawyers right now filing an injunction to open the night court to get christmas out of prison right understand something this is the kind of foolishness that we had to go through to, to, to stand up for the freedom of speech and freedom of rights for a journalist to come to that get the truth he didn't force nobody to do nothing we spoke our truth 
Father Christmas give us the best gift we could have give us the gift to watch ourselves and understand who we really are why are we killing ourselves and everybody like a choir could sing that the government has given us no opportunities so what we are realizing is that the government the, the police they use the ghetto youth as the sacrificial lambs for poor policing and poor governance the excuse of poor governance ain't no excuse and so this bullying culture that we have in trying to be with it is getting drastic we know what's going on people the police bullying the people the people bullying themselves the police bully the gangsters the gangsters bully the gunmen the gunmen bully the people the people bully the family the family bullying inside the home domestic violence from the top who it is bullying the police who it is bullying the police the only people with the power to to keep their their, 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 their their salaries low and keep them oppressed so that they could keep oppressing us now look at this we trying to bring some kind of and cj williams big up we have two lawyers right now filing an injunction to open a night court to get christmas out of prison right understand something who else who else could do it do their own work everybody right now we have a serious situation right now we don't know where christmas list is christmas list came safely into trinidad he told all the different communities in trinidad and tobago he said he was going to leave on sunday he had the last post said he was going to leave tomorrow sunday came sunday left he did not leave johnny bravo right now is in the canadian consulate um when we went in Christmas list went into the Canadian consulate on Monday afternoon and allegedly he said that there were threats that were made against his life. Now none of these threats, I don't know if they came from the streets but it didn't make any sense. If it came any of the threats came from the streets, he would have called Mr. Bravo myself or somebody. You know, where it don't make any sense. I would have come from the streets, right? So if it came from somebody, where did it come from to make this guy have to go to the Canadian consulate to make a report that his, he has his life under threat in Trinidad and Tobago? Is this coming from an uh, 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 official government place? Is some is there some kind of official threatening man? No, he's missing right now, so we need to know the TTPS. Do they have Mr. Christmas list in detention? If so, the country needs to know. We need to know why as well, right? The police just did an exercise in Port of Spain where they did they, they, it's for it's two gunmen, four people, they killed two, they they, they you know they detain two, right? Christmas list did a video with all these different groups. He have a video with the resistance up that dropped the same time the police killed the fellas of the resistance. So we don't know if it is that it is in connection with that they're trying to get information from Christmas. If the guys was in was really and truly, you know, attached to the kidnapping of the double woman or whatever, it doesn't matter because Christmas list is a tourist who came to document the struggles in Trinidad and Tobago. He safely went through all the most dangerous hoods in Trinidad and to big one had not one problem and when it is he's ready to leave now we can't find him and the word is that the police may have detained him the police was looking for him in connection with some you know what all what no no trying to big we need to help we need to find out please somebody get information anybody in the police find out if he's under detention in the police find out if he's safe if he gain what if he gain food if he gain treat properly right we need this man human rights make sure he's taken care of right and release him safely to his people make a post notify the public the people and we are spending them hard work money let me tell you, you see if you live a key man you know say key man life now easy Summer we have to work so in a summer all right now a summer sun yo it's sun dead yo we're gonna have to day and look on the temperature outside at 39 degrees celsius came on sun and normal brother and i work we have to work for money i don't know I charge people how much money she mother because i'm over the picture i'm over the and friends i'm over the headline the show so basically i'm over the one i use to, to sell the show and you know say there's a problem with the artist notify the public notify the people they will spend them hundred dollars for vip notify the people them i make the people them know say boom immigration turn down the man thing because remember you know you don't know one immigration you know you don't know one immigration you know. so anything can happen you know, when permit put in you know. permit and gambling you know. maybe whosoever out there where they put them board I grant the permit them, good to say, oh, you know, say, make me not grant my father, 
because I don't like him. It's a possibility. I saw the thing just like when you go for visa and them thing. I saw the thing said. You get me I say? So, me do want to promote them forward out and talk to the people. Let the people know who are going down. 